here on the territory of the Mississauga New Credit and also acknowledge the incredible leadership of Canada's uh, First Peoples, First Nations um, in, uh, in fighting for a better world, in refusing to be sacrifice zones, in being our water keepers and our carbon keepers, fighting to keep the carbon in the ground that will destabilize life on Earth if we burn it at the rates that the people in these office towers would like to. Um, this has been an incredible lineup of speakers. Uh, I want to thank you all. Wanda, Jody, Hassan, Melina, um, and Jerry in advance. Um, this is a remarkable coalition. You know, I've had the incredible privilege uh, of traveling around the world and meeting with activists, uh, with with unions, um, uh, with, with politicians in many different countries who are focusing on climate change. And I want to tell you that what you're seeing here in terms of a coalition of grassroots groups representing the most marginalized people in our city, the people treated as disposable, representing the First Nations people of this country, fighting extractive projects at the grassroots, and the largest private se sector union in this country representing workers at the heart of the fossil fuel economy, understanding that we have key differences, but what unites us is greater than that. And that's why we're coming together. What you're seeing are the first steps towards a new kind of climate movement. And it's a climate movement that recognizes that what unites us is stronger than, the, than divides us, and also that time is too short to allow those divisions to keep us from building the kind of coalitions that will safeguard life on Earth. So this is a very his, uh, exciting moment. I believe it's a historic moment, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. I'm also speaking here as a board member of 350.org, uh, which is one of the organizations that has worked very hard to bring together this coalition, and I want to acknowledge my colleagues at 350 for their hard work um, uh, and uh, and also in kickstarting the incredible fossil fuel divestment movement that Jody uh, is a part of. And, um, you know, I think the time is now. Uh, Canadians uh, are clearly getting tired of the fossil fuel roller coaster. Tired of being told that we have to sacrifice our environmental protections and our international standing when times for industry are good. We're tired too of seeing our budgets for social programs slashed and livelihoods destroyed when times for industry are bad. It turns out we sacrifice on the upside and we sacrifice on the downside. We're tired of seeing the super profits cause the degradation of indigenous lands, workers' safety, and immigrants' rights during those boom years. And we're tired of seeing reduced profits used as the excuse for mass layoffs, for broken contracts, for lowered safety standards, and increased racism against immigrants during the bust years. We're tired of having a petro currency that destroys manufacturing when times are up. We're tired of picking up the pieces when times are down. We're tired of the huge physical costs of digging up and burning this much carbon. Tired of the polluted rivers, the exploding oil trains, the extreme weather linked to climate change. We are tired too of the merger between our government and the extractive sector. Tired of having a prime minister who bullies other nations into taking our oil and build our pipelines when they don't want it. Yeah. Tired of a Department of Indian Affairs that pushes relentlessly to extinguish indigenous rights in order to pave the way for more mines and more pipelines. Tired of a Department of Foreign Affairs that acts as an adjunct of the mining sector that is infamous from Guatemala to Greece for its violations of human rights. Tired of having our national interest equated with a sector whose business model is to dig up more carbon than is compatible with a stable climate. Now that the price of oil is low, we can see that the price of all of this is simply too high. Like the people of Alberta, the epicenter of the fossil fuel roller coaster, many Canadians are ready to get off this reckless ride. But you know what? We want more than the politics of rejection. I think more than anything else, we're tired of being tired and we're ready to be inspired. We look around the world and we see that a far better economy is 
possible. We see that we have been lied to for two decades of a Harper government that has told Canadians they have to choose between caring about the climate, caring about the environment, and having good jobs and having social programs. It turns out that this was a complete lie because we're losing it all. We're losing it all. Workers are losing their jobs in the tens of thousands, and we're sacrificing the climate too. We're allowing um, our human rights in this country to be further degraded. The costs are simply too high. If we look at a country like Germany, we see that when there is real political leadership that listens to the grassroots, a serious response to climate change and a move to decentralize, community-controlled renewable energy can create deeper democracy. It has created 400,000 jobs in Germany. Um, and, you know, this is the real triple win. Uh, we can do this in Canada, but we lack the leadership. A few weeks ago, on Earth Day in New York, uh, Bill de Blasio, the mayor of New York, announced his vision for climate justice for his city, which he said would bring 900,000 people out of poverty by 2025 by combining the demand for a living wage, investments in, in, in transit that will reduce commute times, and serious climate action. So we're tired of being divided. That's why you see this slogan here on these panels, because we won't take it anymore. Um, and we, we, we don't just want off this roller coaster. We're ready for the next economy. We know the leadership isn't coming from the political class, so it's going to come from below. And we're going to see the first examples of it this summer. It's going to happen um, uh, a few days after the Pope launches uh, his climate encyclical, another example of the kind of change that's happening. Um, and I just want to thank all the organizers and, and, and Clay and over to you, Jerry.